The Silverfast Archive Suite workflow consists of three basic steps. First, you calibrate the scanner using an IT8 target. Then, you can scan the raw image data, including the infrared channel, into a 64-bit HDRI file. In the third step, you create the final image files in Silverfast HDR Studio. These files are optimized for their intended use during this last step. Step 1. IT8 Calibration Calibrate your scanner prior to every scanning project in order to achieve the highest color fidelity. Open the IT8 Calibration, activate Auto IT8, and start calibration process. Silverfast creates a new color profile for your scanner. Step 2. Scanning with Silverfast AI Studio The best file format to create an archive is 64-bit HDRI. You can save HDRIs as TIFF or DNG. Both file formats contain the three basic color channels and the infrared channel for later dust and scratch removal. Furthermore, they contain the ICC color profile of your scanner that was created during calibration. This ensures a consistent color management chain throughout the whole archive suite workflow. When scanning HDR files, most of the tools are deactivated. They are not needed before image processing in Silverfast HDR Studio. You just set the resolution and the dimensions of your scan. As a rule, 300 ppi is the best resolution value. If you are not yet sure about the output dimensions of your images, set the resolution to the optical resolution of your scanner. In our case, we want to archive 35 mm film strips. Here, you can see the input dimensions. The zoom factor is in the middle. On the right, you can type in the desired output dimensions. The colored resolution display is located above these fields. Here, you can see immediately if the resolution is set too high. With the slider in the green area, everything is fine. The yellow area signals that the scanner has almost reached its optical resolution. The red area specifies that you have set a resolution above the optical resolution of your scanner. The scanner needs to interpolate the scanned image data. The slider moves automatically according to the output dimensions typed in the input field. If your desired output dimensions are for instance 4 by 6 inches, just type in the value you can see that the slider has moved accordingly. We recommend that you activate multi-exposure for all of your scans. Multi-exposure increases the dynamic range and at the same time reduces image noise. This leads to richer details, especially in darker areas. In single scan mode, the PlusTech Optic Film 120 discriminates more than 1300 grayscales, whereas this number is greater than 10,000 in multi-exposure mode. On the left, you can see an image scan without. On the right, with multi-exposure. Now, open the overview. Initially, every image is selected. Click on the images you don't want to scan. Add the selected images to the job manager. The resolution, dimension, and multi-exposure settings you choose for the first image are automatically applied to all the images. Now, you're ready to start the archive scan. Step 3. Optimizing with Silverfast HDR Studio Silverfast HDR Studio provides the best way to optimize archived HDRI images. Switch to the Virtual Light Table VLT to get an overview. Images marked with an HDRI badge include the infrared channel. Select the images you want to optimize and drag them onto the job manager icon. Double click the first image you want to optimize. Silverfast HDR Studio features the same tools and filters as Silverfast AI Studio. It is recommended to apply one of the smart image automatics. 
In most of the cases, this yields very good results and provides a good starting point for further optimizations. Make sure the image automatic is applied at the beginning of the optimization process. The Silverfast Archive Suite's most impressive feature is the infrared-based dust and scratch removal. It can be applied to HDRI files, just as if the original image were still placed on your scanner. Photoshop, as well as other image processing software, do not come with such a feature. Activate ISRD and switch to the 1x1 or the high quality preview to evaluate the effect of ISRD. You can switch between the original image, mark defects, and the corrected image. The different viewing modes help to find the perfect ISRD setting for your image. You can see the infrared channel by holding Command Shift on a Mac or Control Shift on Windows, and then clicking on the image. Now, you can use all the tools and filters you need, like USM or Unsharp Masking, Global and Selective Color Correction, and so on and so forth. You can optimize every image listed in the Job Manager individually. Or you can optimize one image and then transfer the settings to others. This is especially useful when you process an image series that was taken under the same conditions requiring the same optimizations. To do so, open the Copy dialog in the Job Manager. Every tool or image automatic applied to the image is listed here. The Check tools can now be applied to other images. Now you're ready to start the batch processing. The software optimizes every entry in the Job Manager automatically. Silverfast AI Studio 8 and the Silverfast Archive Suite 8 have won numerous awards from international professional journals. For more info and a free demo version, visit our website. Thank you for your attention.